Hi, and welcome back to the Carbon 60 series. I'm Kay Elmer, and this is going to be a little short video. I just wanted to give everybody a heads up on my experiences with making C60 oil using an ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, it was quite the escapade yesterday, and uh, I just wanted to share with you what I did so that you could kind of see it. I know I've had several people inquire as to how it went, and I know that you're interested, so here we go. Uh, first thing right out of the gate, this is what I used. Um, I went with a cold pressed organic coconut oil. I uh, used 16 ounces. Uh, that only cost me $5. And then, as I mentioned in the last video, part three, I used a 99.95% .95 purity C60 from Bucky Labs. And it sells for 110 a gram. So I used half a gram at 500 milligrams. So it was 55 bucks. So my total ingredients cost was $60 uh, to, to go ahead and, and make this batch. Now, at this math at 16 ounces it comes out to the total amount of fullerenes and oil in the same uh, jar was uh, it should have been if it would have completely dissolved it would have been 1.06 milligrams per milliliter but as you remember from everything I've been saying the the actual saturation rate in the rat study and with most of the commercial grade uh, producers is 0.8 milligrams per milliliter I went with a little bit more uh, because uh, I, my digital scale was not working, so I had to eyeball it. So now what I did was is I sterilized the, uh, the ultrasonic cleaner with boiling water for five minutes to make sure it was super clean um, and nothing living. And then I heated on the stove 16 ounces of coconut oil, and I placed it in the sterilized cleaner. Um, after that, I added in the 500 milligrams of the C60 powder. I stirred it up. And then I ran it for a total of 94 minutes. It's, it's a weird number. I I was shooting for 100, but I uh, went with 94. And then I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, and then while it, because the ultrasonic cleaner only has a timer that goes so far, every time the timer would run out, I would stir it up again, turn the timer on, stir it up again, turn the timer on, and stir it up. So that's kind of how it went last night. And uh, this is the results that I actually ended up with. Oh, I'm sorry. These are the issues that I ran into first. Um, the issues, the first thing was, was I, remember I bought one of these guys, I got it on eBay, uh, 30 bucks, and you know, had good reviews and everything, uh, and that thing just stopped running, I mean, I ran it for 30 minutes, and boom, it just died, <laughs> and I was so frustrated, uh, and so I pulled out this little guy, which is what I make vitamin C, liposomal vitamin C with, and I had to move, and I had to pour the oil over uh, into the little jewelry cleaner, um, and I, well, I sterilized it first and I put it, poured it in there. And then, uh, this guy goes for 30 minutes at a shot, but this guy only goes, the little guy only goes eight minutes at a shot. So I had to just do it for eight times. I had to keep going back. Um, uh, you know, every eight minutes I'd go back, stir it up, turn it on, stir it up. You know, it was, uh, it was really a lot of fun actually. Let me tell you. Uh, so anyway, so had I just had the big one, I could have just set the timer three separate times and, and just let it run. A uh, little one I had to really babysit, so uh, I did end up using two. This guy for the first 30 minutes, this guy for 64 minutes, and that's how I ended up with that weird number. Um, and the last thing, as I mentioned, that the, my digital, you know, it's just one of those days. I, I go to turn on the digital meter, and it's not working. I put new batteries in. It's just it's not working. Uh, for you that don't, you know, for the guys that don't know, I live in Hawaii. I'm half a mile from the ocean. Our, you know, our electronics don't last very long, and I was quite surprised that I didn't have a digital meter. So I had that little vial of the C60 powder, and I had to eyeball it, and so I dumped in half of what was in there, uh, and that's kind of how I'm coming out with my guesses. So I want to just give you a disclaimer. I was guessing. I didn't have a meter, so my numbers are estimates. Okay, so that's it. So let me just kind of just show you uh, how it went. Uh, uh, from a visual standpoint, so that's the little guy after I'd moved the oil over, and this was just after the first 30 minutes, okay, so the oil was really light, light, light lavender, and you can see the fullerenes as the machine is, zzz, you know, making that sound, you can see how the oil is moving, that's from the ultrasonic waves, uh, but what was interesting was that the fullerenes would kind of form this little weird pattern on the bottom, uh, but I would just let it run, it would just let, let it run for 480 seconds, which is, as you're seeing, the, the countdown, and I just stir it up and stir it up and just try to keep the whole thing going. Now, what this is, is after the full 64 minutes, the hour long later, um, I, this, is what, this is what it looked like. And it had went from a light lavender to a dark 
lavender. I mean, a really rich color. Um, and so I went and took it out of this cleaner. And this is the residue. And so, you know, without a digital meter, I didn't know exactly how much to put in there. But also, too, I don't have the equipment to measure it. So the way that I'm doing it, and I'm sure you're doing it, too, at home, is you're going to have to eyeball the, the color of the oil to see how much darker did it get. And then look inside your cleaner. And then you're going to get this oil. Look at this oil right here. This is what I produced uh, after, you know, basically 94 minutes. And it is purple. I mean, it is exactly the same look as the when I, when I first started doing this. I started with Purple Power. And that's the bottle I use. I save my bottles. And, and so, you know, when, when you look at what's left over, I'm guessing that I probably left about 40% of the fullerenes in the cleaner. But if you look at the oil, it is definitely dark purple it does look like i mean there's definitely um fullerenes that had dissolved into the oil i definitely made lipo fullerenes it is not exactly what i'd hoped to do which was 0.8 milligrams per milliliter because if you look at that and you eyeball it you know i'm kind of guessing like i left 40 percent of the fullerenes in the in the cleaner at the bottom but at least 60 percent these are all guesses now okay but I'm guessing that at least 60% of the powder dissolved, given the color of that. Because before I started that, that was clear. Okay, the coconut oil is clear. So it definitely did dissolve. I'm, I'm pretty sure I got more than half dissolved into the oil, right? And I made myself a batch. And, you know, I was I just showing you right there that it was uh, still warm to the touch. So with that in mind... Oops. The idea here is that, you know, this is what I think at the end of the day, that I actually, I think I dissolved, and this is an estimate, 60% uh, of the oil, and that would have came out to about 0.63 milligrams per milliliter. Okay, so in my estimation, uh, I did make lipofullerenes with a little machine that <laughs> meant to clean your oil of all things, okay, uh, and I did it in 94 minutes, and it came out to a little bit less than the commercial grade so i'm going to call this home grade lipofullerene for sixty dollars as opposed to commercial grade lipofullerenes and the same bottle which was you know that's 16 ounce bottle so right after the video I, I poured the uh the contents into the you know my my the jar i mean the bottle that i i bought and that bottle right now sells for 370 dollars so uh, home grade for 60 buy it off the shelf for 370 it, it's I'm Garen's it's not the same saturation level but you know I'm kind of a good enough uh, uh, home lab guy so you know that's just by the way this is the first time this is my first experiment using an ultrasonic trying to make uh, lipofullerene so uh, I think for the first experiment with all the things that went wrong uh, I'm pretty happy and so uh, I'm glad I'm actually taking it I took some this morning and I'm you know doing my thing uh, now the other things that I'm gonna be going off and making some more I'm gonna be doing other kinds of like you know experiments and I'm thinking about uh, what would happen if I lowered the temperature because I had it really hot um, and, what, and then I was thinking, what if I stirred it overnight? Because while I'm doing this coconut thing, I've also got um, a half a liter of, or, uh, of olive oil, fullerene, spinning on the magnetic stir. Uh, you know, the dog takes the olive oil, I take the coconut. So I'm thinking, you know, if I stir it overnight, because well, I was really surprised with, this, with the beaker that's sitting on the magnetic stir. Because that thing was, the oil was light green. And I checked it the next morning, and it was black. And I was like, I was very surprised that it got that dark that quick. So I'm thinking, well, maybe if I stir it overnight and then put it in the ultrasonic cleaner, it might be better. So I'll be trying that next. And then, you know, what if I added more C60? So I'm just thinking out loud. I'm brainstorming. I'm sharing with you what happened, what I did, what, what, what the results were. I know you guys are trying this at home. I'd love to hear how your experiments went. And uh, that's it. Quick video. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate your guys' support. I, re I read all your comments, and I am so humbled. I really am. I'm just really humbled at how much you guys uh, appreciate what the work I'm trying to share with you. And I'm just going to keep going. And uh, thanks a lot for your support. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.